Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Dave the Diver. We uh, made some porridge last time, made out of coral, and uh, we've also got a noisy customer to satisfy by serving them some moray curry. Uh, we need to get that coral porridge to Ramu. I think the moray curry we can't actually get until we do an evening dive, so that's going to be our aim for a day. So let's jump on in, get this water explored. Right, into the deep chapter 2 of course is what we're on, and uh, yeah, we've got quite a bit to do by the looks of things. And yeah, we're just gonna have to take a big old risk today and, and get some jobs ticked off that list. All right, here we go. Ooh, we've got a little cutscene here. Oh, look. Come back, amazing. It, it, it does make the blue coal look smaller, Dave, you're right. Okay, we need to get down to Ramo, so we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna swim alongside this way. Look at that, beautiful. Like props to the game designers for this. It's such a good game, and every time you come down here, there's like a little bit of a new experience. Uh, I'm not going to be worrying too much about um, getting fish and stuff at the moment. Uh, our aim today is to get quests done. We are, however to be picking up some little bits and pieces like these weapons because they are always useful we're going to hold this down and disassemble the hush dot oh watch our backs that's not good although this might be actually a good opportunity to knock out some of those research quests where did they come from they just snuck up on me right let's <laughs> do better Dave that's better got him got the red lionfish we're going to go back after this one seeing as he's decided that uh, he wants to have a go at us there we go got him as well and it's not actually part of... <laughs> actually, I better swap the hush dart over because that's probably necessary equipment that we need. So we'll get the air uh, research for that. And then we can carry on heading down into the depths. We are going to need to pick up a... There's another weapon there. But I will leave it. I will leave it. I've got some barracuda here. Which we will, uh, we will take out. They weren't aggressive, but... I feel a need to do so. In fact, we'll hush start them. That might allow us to we go, and hopefully we can just, once they go to sleep. Is that, are they going to go to sleep? There we go. Oh, wait, wait, I've woken him up. What an idiot. <laughs> we'll uh, put this one to sleep then. Dear me, that wasn't a good... Uh... Right, we'll, we'll get this one done, and then he's gone to sleep, so we can... Uh... Grab him. There we go. Oh, it was a, a narrow barred Spanish mackerel. That's why it wasn't there. Uh, I thought it was a great barracuda. Anyway, we'll carry on. Some new fish there. I've never seen them before by the look. Um, nice shipwreck in the background there. Oh, oh, here we go. This bad lad is uh, going to give us a bit of a running over. We'll avoid him though. There's the barracuda. <laughs> Uh, I did finish the net gun last time, so that's something that we can look at bringing down to the depths with us when we next make a trip. And we do need to just keep plowing on down to the depths of the blue hole. On goes the torch. We may have to uh, find a UV light somewhere down here. I'll have a quick look at this box exactly what we needed yes uh oh anglerfish put him to sleep we'll see if actually doing that will allow us to just grab him is he gonna fall asleep properly gotta watch out for that as well there he is he's gone to sleep bang tooth sorry not an anglerfish and it looks as though we've come the wrong way can't get any further ahead there so it's Probably down here. Nice chilled out dive. We're not trying to push ourselves too much. We just want to get to where we need to be. There we go. Right. Let's get this porridge dropped off to Ramo. Where hopefully they'll be able to feed them. And we will satisfy our friends, the sea people. They're down here in this little cave. I'm going to grab some oxygen before we go in there. We'll also open this little box, and it is an underwater scooter, which will be perfect. Here we go. Here is your porridge. It, oh, thank you, Suam. So, Suam and Rano. 
Y you didn't prepare it, you liar. Taking credit for Dave's work once again. Oh my god. Well, at least she's feeling better. That's really good. Good, Ramu. I'm really pleased. Uh, yeah, I I did defeat the giant squid. It wasn't Suam. There we go. We're going to the Sea People Village. Amazing. <laughs> All right then, we will carry you on our backs. Just like Dave literally carries every other character in this game. Just everybody's lackey. But we will grab... Okay, we've got to get Ramu on our back safely. She can open up tube worm paths for us, and we just need to escort her safely. So, pick her up. And here we go. Now, I'm hoping this doesn't put too much of a dent on our uh, oxygen levels. But at least she can open the path for us coming through here, so we don't need to use that UV light. Yeah, okay, it does work. That's very good. Very good. Here we go. And where's Suam? He's over here. I mean, I suppose it's a good thing that we took out whatever was in our way before. We can keep going. I reckon it's going to be pretty dangerous down here. Make sure Ramo isn't hurt. Yeah, uh, I'm going to. You know, what What would be really helpful is if we were just able to follow him down now, because they're all going to... Yeah, of course they are. They're poking back out, which means I have to daintily walk my way... Walk? Swim my way through here. Keep thinking, Dave doesn't need to walk. The only walking Dave seems to do is in the bar when he's serving customers. Right, okay, we've managed to get down through another portion of the blue hole. Uh, I can't see where Rano has... Oh, Suam. Sorry, not Rano. Got Rano on my back. Suam is down this way. Oh no, what's happened now? Uh-oh. Something happened to the village. Oh no. It'll be John Watson, won't it? Causing some sort of... Oh god, what are you... You don't look very happy. We're gonna just dodge around you. You're gonna suck us in, aren't you? You're a big fella with a... Oh my god, and a crab. Oh, he got us. Is he going to leave us alone? Please leave us alone. Please leave us alone. <laughs> oh my god, we got to keep going. Oh. Um, don't look now. I'm not tired, I'm fine. Um, guys, behind us. He's going to damage us straight away, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> that could have been the worst cutscene ever. Like, imagine if that just ended and that um, shark just went for us straight away. Right, we've got these weird-looking jellyfish. Oh, no. they are gonna He's going to explode, isn't he? Yep. Horrific. So, what we should do then is... Oh, my God. He's going to be back there, isn't he? We're going to be stuck in a loop. Right, I need to get away from this shark. And then we need to get Rano back. That was awful, honestly. Right, he's gone. So, now we'll sneak back behind him. We'll get Rano. He's taking Rano out. Oh my god, this is a loop. We are in a death loop now. There's absolutely no way for us to get out of this. Right, we're grabbing it. And we're just going to have to... Yeah, we've made it. Okay, that's safe. We've done that. It's so frustrating. I've been doing so well in this game not to die. And now, because of that and respawning there... Right, okay, we know that this jellyfish is down here, so we're going to... Try and just harpoon him and he'll probably explode straight away. He's gonna blow her up. Oh, 
Okay, it's safe. That's good. We got away from him. Now, we need to try and get down here. He's not there. Probably because he blew up before. So we'll go grab Rano now, and then we'll bring her down. Oh my god. Okay, there's some ammo there, so we'll grab that. Something nasty there. It doesn't look aggressive, so that's fine. We're going to pick up some oxygen here. We're almost at our depth limit, so I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to carry on. Is there somewhere where I can go? Ha! Ah. Oh, I see what's happening here. Yeah, we're just going to have to take that hit, unfortunately. Rano down for a little bit. Got some health down here. I'm, I'm horrifically under-equipped for this. This was a bad idea. Don't even know if I can go any deeper than this because we are at our limit. We're at critical depth here. Path is blocked with this rock. Oh god. Right, the vibrations earlier. I need to get back quick before my father scolds me even more. Dropping the loose rock pile over there. Alright. Sure thing. I'll do that. What's going on? Okay, Bacon, get me some. Yeah, okay. So after all of this, we now have to go back. I am, I'm going to use the escape pod. I can't be doing with that again. My word. Right, so we need enhanced gloves, and this is going to allow us to pick up seeing enemies and stuff as well, I think, so that's really useful. But that has not been a successful dive. We died twice. One time was my own stupid fault. The other time was kind of my own stupid fault. <laughs> Dr. Bacon. Right. Yeah, okay. We've developed some diving gloves for retrieving artifacts. That would let me pull out a stake. Excellent. Safety measures. Okay. Right. So we have to wait until tomorrow. But we do have a night dive that we can take part in. We did manage to get some fish. And actually, we didn't, we didn't lose any. That's great. Okay, so Bancho still gets a little bit of fish. And uh, we've got an evening dive to do. So we can only dive once at night. And one of our three evening working hours are going to be consumed, which means there'll be less time in the actual uh, restaurant tonight. But that's okay. Let's see what we can buy. We can't buy anything from him. Can we upgrade something with our eye diver? I may well increase my air tank. We'll get that done. And also potentially the diving limit now as we're about to hit our uh, limit for that given that we're going to need to dive further soon so we'll get that done and then we'll go on our night dive and try and grab one of the more eels what have i got in my box have i actually um got any new weapons we've got a basic underwater rifle we don't have the sleeping um yeah we don't have anything else can i craft something We can craft the triple axle and the small net gun. We'll craft that. Oh. It's a bit excessive, but thank you, Duff. Uh, I'm not going to equip it right away. Uh, we also will go with the triple axe handle. <laughs> I can't deal with it. All right. 
Uh, so we've crafted our new weapons and we can swap them out. Um, I might well take a... I'll, t I'll have to take the triple axle, really. Um, can I upgrade my underwater rifle? Because if I upgrade that, that might be a much better thing to do. Um, upgrade my basic underwater rifle. Now we can go with a lightning rifle or a shock rifle. I'm going to go with... Oh, I can't do them, I can't do them. There's a lot that I can't do. We'll upgrade it to underwater rifle 2. Okay. <laughs> it's a it's a duff cutscene heavy uh, uh heavy day for us today, isn't it? There's a lot of duff cutscenes. Right, we've equipped that underwater rifle. We're gonna go down there now. We're gonna try and snag us a moray eel and serve a moray curry. Shouldn't take us too long to get this, I would hope. We'll be able to just get down there and, and do stuff, but it may be a pretty action and combat heavy dive, so we just need to be very prepared for that. It's quite dark down here. We're going to snag some additional materials as well, including whatever's in this crock pot. Uh, bearing in mind, I also did send out one of my staff members to go in and uh, grab us some stuff, and everything seems to want to eat us today. So we're just going to try and navigate our way around. We need to get into a little bit of a cave somewhere and hope that the moray eels are coming out to play. So I think there probably will be one down here, maybe. Or do we need to get a little bit further down? down into the depths. I think we do. Right, okay. We'll just uh, push on ahead. I should have probably picked up that copper, but for now, that's okay. We'll just carry on with this dive. I reckon there's probably going to be a moray eel around here. We're looking pretty deep. Hopefully, one of them's going to show itself. I will grab this copper just for the upgrade materials and we'll uh, have a quick swim across here see if we can find ourselves an eel oh that wasn't nice was it further down we got some spikes which means there's probably a current there yes good spot well done Dave we'll sneak around here there's another current there blowing in up into this direction another crock pot which wasn't ideal it's not what I'm really looking for but we can always take the sesame oil out it's inside that there's a fossil there as well which is actually part of one of our fetch and return quests so we'll grab that but I'm not seeing anything else here foot bone and another crock pot there's a lot of these down here tonight We've just got to find an eel, though. Thought this would have been a lot easier, but they don't seem to want to come out and play. Nevertheless, we've got to keep going, because we need this curry to be made, and that looks like a silver bowl. We've got one of those sawtooths there. Not a sawtooth, is it? Just dodge around you. You're going to continue to pursue us. I'm going to dodge it, because I'm Dave, and I'm more agile than you would have imagined. We're going to get away from you now, though. Stop following me. Yeah, we're going to need to head further up to the surface, I think, and explore a little bit closer to the shallow end of the blue hole. Oh dear, that's not good. They don't like me at all. The movement's not great, though. They just look like they're trying to slap me about a bit, so we'll... We've easily dodged them. We're going to pick up this oxygen here. And speed off towards the surface. So that wasn't particularly successful, but we have managed to get a little bit further away from danger there. And we will explore a little bit further along here. See if we can coax out an eel to serve up with that moray curry. A little bit more of a relaxed affair as we end the episode. 
Though, yes, there's still stuff and danger, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was when we were uh, trying to get Rana to safety. So that is at least something. Is there going to be a moray eel around? No, there's a damned shark there, though. <laughs> Through here. Oh, my word. <laughs> Everywhere we go, sharks. Terrible. Right, we'll try and dodge around him. There's some sort of jellyfish critter there as well. And the shark, and a lot of fish. We are in trouble. I can't believe there's not been a single eel here so far. How... Am I wrong? Do they not spawn at night? Have I just wasted a part of my evening? Oh, there it is. Exactly what I was looking for. Oh, we missed. Still no. And again, we'll just keep going. We'll keep going. We can get him. This is it. No, next one. Oh my god, the shark's behind us. We got him. Get away from the shark. <laughs> All right. That's the eel done. We are going to... We'll grab another couple of these fish here. Just to... Uh, bulk out our inventory as we head back up to the shore. Alright, okay, so we've got a bit more that we can fill up on. So let's just uh, very quickly grab some extra bits and pieces here. There's another eel. Why not, eh? Quite a few fish there as well, though, so we could just take some pot shots here. Oh, they, they actually hit me. Oh my god. This is where I need my net gun. <laughs> I'm going to return to the boat. I should have brought my net gun with me. That was awful. Right. Uh, chaotic end to the dive, but we are done now. And uh, we're going to get back up and serve in the restaurant. <laughs> the Bancho Sushi, where we're going to serve a moray curry. My word. What a time. What a time. Hopefully we'll have a good night at the restaurant to make up for the terrible diving that we've done today. And what is this? What's happening now? Everyone okay? Yeah, we've not opened. Hello? Come back. Oh god, she's using a puppet to talk to us, isn't she? Food? Oh dear me. A therapy method that involves letting traumatised kids speak their mind through dolls. Oh no. What do you want? Kombu and white tavali ochazuke. God, right. Fine. We're going to need to. We're making another dish for somebody else. Right, okay. So, on here, we are going to have our moray. It was moray curry. Yes. Okay. Menu. Menu, menu, menu. Ray eel curry. Okay. Done. Manage auto supply. Yes. Manage. Okay, that's done. Then we're going to go with um, long spine squirrel fish sushi. No, we're going to enhance that. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Good seeing every episode today, guys. Right, we'll have that. Oh, no, we've only got one of them now. Mega mouth shark. We'll oh tiger shark. Let's enhance that and enhance again. Okay, now we'll put that on the menu and auto supply that. Then we're gonna go with what else have we got? Quite a bit. We want to clear some stuff out of here though, don't we? So we'll do a long spine squirrel fish, and then we'll also do a sea toad, 
and we'll also do a barrel jellyfish and a salt grilled red tooth trigger fish auto supply yes uh, actually we better swap out that because we're going to need something that we've got a lot of so we'll do the great barracuda sushi again yeah okay whatever excellent right i think that'll do and let's take a look at where our staff are positioned we've got james in the kitchen we've got kyoko and jandy in the areas uh, for dining we're hiring in progress so let's get things open here and away we go now then we'll get some running on the go now we do need to refill the wasabi somebody told me so that is a uh, brand new information for me uh and i really wish i'd learned that 10 episodes ago Right, I should now be able to just pour tea. And I hope that people are just happy and satisfied because there's stuff going on in the kitchen. We've got this, which I need to get all the way to the end for. Right. Now, someone's ordered these, but we don't have any left now. We're sold out. Uh, cold beer, let's go. I've messed that beer up massively. I didn't listen. I didn't look. Uh, trying to refill the wasabi before it runs out. Done. Missed the beer. That was a bad night. Bad night. <laughs> but we made a few sales and it wasn't too bad. So that'll do us nicely and uh yeah okay so tomorrow we, we never served the moray eel curry either did we is that still going to be up there as a quest i think it will be the bacon's put a new post on and here he is again to give us some chat about our new gloves so we're getting some new special diving gloves which is going to be really useful and we can go into the ocean to do that but we're going to leave that um oh apparently i can't we're gonna have to go do that now so let's go another dive <laughs> okay so <coughs> all right so objects that could be picked up will show a button when you go near them. First try grabbing the pile of rocks over there and dropping them. That's weak wood, so you should be able to break through. So we use our trigger to grab a rock. We drop them over these boards here. And it lets us go through. Now we can move down through the opening, following the rock as it tumbles down. And what's down here? An anchor. Uh-oh. Current strong, grab the anchor so you won't away. Okay, nice and easy. Gotta mash the A button to hold on to things. Okay, that's good. And then we'll come through here. Grab the stake. Pull. Assume we have to get it in the red. There we go. Out comes the stake. And then we can go grab some treasure. Very simple, very nice new mechanic. We've got some gloves now that we can handle sharp objects and heavy things with, which is really nice. And now we can go back to the boat and begin a proper dive. So, uh, bacon's gone. Diving gloves look like they're coming in handy. Okay, now we need to go down and pull out the steak. Also, we still have to serve Marie Curry and serve the food that Mackie wants. So, we'll leave it there and I will see you next time for another episode of Dave the Diver. Bye-bye.